Hello and welcome to the introductory episode of Secondary Storyline, a short form video series that focuses on doing one thing and one thing well. My goal is to keep these under three minutes in length, then save the in-depth topics you know and love for the main show. In this episode, we'll be talking about subframe audio editing in Final Cut Pro 10. Have you ever had a project where you needed the audio to match exactly with either a sound effect or music hit and couldn't quite get it to match up? This is the solution. While we have frame level control of video, when it comes to audio, we can go subframe, which is really, really cool. To see this in action, first go to Preferences General by pressing Command comma on your keyboard, then under Time Display, choose the one that shows subframes. Subframes will be noted as the tiny numbers under the viewer. We can go down to 1 80th of a frame in terms of audio. So let's close Preferences. The next thing you'll want to do is zoom all the way in on your timeline by going to View Options and dragging this all the way to the right. It's also helpful to increase the clip height to the maximum and change to something that focuses more on audio like one of these two over here. The first thing I want you to notice is this gray highlight right here, wherever your scrubber or playhead happens to be. That indicates one frame. If we watch our subframes in the viewer as we scrub along, you'll notice we have from 1 to 80 to work with here. So, my three subframe audio editing tips for you are as follows. You can option click on any audio to make subframe volume adjustments. This is super helpful to correct for any pops or clicks that happen while recording dialogue or music. It's as simple as going down, holding option, and then say clicking here, and then here, and then right on a peak, and then dragging down. You'll want to make at least three, sometimes four keyframes for this to be truly effective. After selecting an entire clip, like this, with the yellow outline, you can move the entire clip 1 80th of a frame by holding option and then using comma or period. And you'll notice it's very subtle, but we're zoomed all the way in here so you could see it. If you hold option shift and then use comma or period, you'll move the entire audio clip 1 8th of a frame. And finally, you can use the blade tool to cut audio at a sub frame level. If I press B on my keyboard to bring up the blade, you'll notice that this is a frame. Regardless of where I click in here, it's going to make the cut at the beginning. So if I click all the way over here, it cuts at the beginning. If I scroll later and I click right here, it cuts at the beginning. If I hold Shift and I use the Blade All tool, maybe right over here, you'll notice it's selected both. What it will do is cut both at the beginning. But if I'm down here on Audio and I make sure that the gray is only over the audio, not right here like this, I can make a subframe cut anywhere I want, like right here. And that is super useful for cutting both dialogue and sound effects. Thanks for watching. You can find us on YouTube or iTunes as The Primary Storyline, and you can reach out via the website at theprimarystoryline.com or via email at theprimarystoryline at gmail.com. Make something epic.